one of the top priorities and, at the same time, most difficult tasks for the armed forces of Ukraine is to protect the country's entire airspace. The gruelling years of war have proven members of the Air Defence Forces as experts in this field, thanks to hours of training and long-term combat experience. Here is how Ukraine's best defenders of the skies train in the 21st century. We began our operations in 2018-2019. When full-scale war broke out, we retrained and constructed simulators for various types of small arms, as well as air defense simulators for eliminating Shahed's and other aerial targets that attack Ukraine every day. This way, we expanded our arsenal and now have over 50 types of combat simulators. Training on military simulators brings a number of logistical and financial benefits. First of all, it's a very safe way of target practice. Secondly, this training method is very cost and time effective. It allows us to save ammunition and travel time to the shooting range and all the logistics involved in simply allowing soldiers to shoot. Training here is basically free of charge. A Kalashnikov cartridge costs about a dollar, whereas here all it uses up is electricity. But it's effectiveness during actual combat that's of utmost importance. It is not the words but actions that speak the loudest here. The soldiers who train with us bring their trophies. Here lies a Gerbera, a Russian long-range unmanned aerial vehicle, and next to it are fragments of a KH-101 missile. The number of accurate hits has gone up significantly. The lads returned and want to train even more on the simulators because it really improved their effectiveness. There are many training centers like this across Ukraine, and training for soldiers is free of charge. A growing number of European countries are purchasing this type of equipment and incorporating it into their militaries, strengthening the quality of their preparations for the increasingly frequent threats in the airspace.